Hi, the full tutorial and the Blender file are available for Patreon's followers. Just the simulation part is available on my YouTube. Please subscribe to my Patreon's channel to have access to the videos and design files. Everything is ready. Let's add a eco sphere as we need to have equal faces over the sphere. That's not the case for UV sphere. To keep long story short, when you want to use a sphere for cloth simulation or soft body, always use an eco sphere or use a cube and assign it a subdivision modifier and increase the numbers until you see a sphere. Go to the modifiers, add a cloth modifier because we want to shrink the sphere. So, it can wrap the object. Before we dive into how cloth simulation works, let's make the ecosphere big enough and make sure it doesn't intersect with any object. Otherwise, the cloth simulation will fail and you get weird results. In cloth simulation we have many important factors, the quality steps will define how accurate the process can be. Make sure you use a low number, we use 15. Otherwise, your PC or laptop will take forever to process the simulation. The other factors we need here, is pressure. If we use positive numbers, we get our objects inflated. And for minus numbers, we deflate our object. We set the pressure to 20. Now, everything is ready for the simulation. But before we press the play, make sure you set the gravity to zero and juts let the deflation, makes the sphere wraps the objects. Another thing is collision under the cloth modifier. We have two types of collisions, self-collision and object collision. Object collision tells the blender that our cloth object will intersect with other objects in the scene. Self-collision will inform the simulation that each face of our object can collide with other faces. For this video, we enable both of them. Also, we have a quality option here. It's not for decoration. It will define how accurate the collision simulation must be. Don't increase it dramatically but I think 10 is good enough. A warning, self-collision will increase the process speed dramatically since the object consists of many faces. That's the reason I always say keep the number of faces low. So, if you have a weak PC, it's better bake the simulation before you play the animation. Now, press the play button. Oops, nothing happened. The reason is we need to tell Blender that the smaller objects inside our big sphere must collide with the eco sphere. To do so, select smaller objects one by one and assign them a collision modifier. Now, press the play button again. As you can see, everything is so slow but at least, working. We have some problems here. First, we see the sharp edges when we deflate the ecosphere. Let's fix this by reverting back the animation to the first frame. Select the ecosphere and right click. Then, shade smooth. Replay the animation. As you can see, it looks better but far from our expectations. To improve the look of the wrapper, add a modifier to the eco sphere, subdivision modifier. Keep the number of viewport and render 1. Put it at the top of the cloth modifier in the hierarchy. Add another subdivision modifier and this time, set the number of viewport and render to 2. Put this subdivision modifier below the cloth modifier as it doesn't affect the simulation. It only makes the wrapper smooth. And, now we just need to add a solidify modifier to the collection to add thickness to our plastic or jelly wrapper. Now, press the play button again.
Thanks for watching the first part of this tutorial.